Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Xbox app is experiencing slow download speeds. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in settings. Best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to select Windows Update on the left side here. And then on the right, you want to go and select Advanced Options. And you want to scroll down again, where it says underneath Additional Options, Delivery Optimization, Bandwidth Limits for Updates, Downloads from Other Devices. Go ahead and open that up. And if you have Allow Downloads from Other PCs, go ahead and turn that off. And then once you're done with that, hopefully that should honestly have been about it. Again, this is assuming you have otherwise decent internet speed. If you have poor internet, you can't expect your Xbox app is going to have good internet. So if you kind of see what I'm saying there, I mean, it should be pretty obvious. But if the issue is very specifically, narrowly defined with Xbox, then that should be able to resolve a problem clearly. And I could definitely see that improving your overall browsing experience as well. But something else we can take a look into as well, if we go underneath apps on the left side, and now on the right, we select apps and features up at the top, and in the apps list field, search for Xbox. Go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to the Xbox listing in here, and select advanced options. Scroll down underneath reset. If this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select the repair button and attempt to launch the Xbox app and see if you're experiencing any better internet connectivity speeds. If not, you can also try and reset it. So if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And now close out of here. Would suggest seeing, again, if the Xbox app seems to be more responsive. If you are still having an issue, open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in IP config, space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Next command I want you guys to type in is NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you should be good to go. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a positive will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.